everybody, my name is Ashley Harrison and I'm the Public Programs Manager at the Miami Children's Museum. This week we are celebrating Miami Art Week and the Miami Children's Museum is proud to continue its partnership with Art Basel into the 17th year by hosting virtual programming for the 2020 show. In 2019, we provided educational art and literacy programming to 430 children and had 67 families participate in our activities. We're really sad that we can't host art kids on site this year and we're going to miss our little artists so much, but we are so excited to be partnering with local Miami artists this year who have created special guides so that you can create your own masterpieces along with them at home. So I get to introduce you today to Marcus Blake. Marcus Blake is a Miami based artist whose street art can be seen throughout Miami. Now his method that he uses to create street art is called tape -nology. So, Marcus is going to show you guys how to make your own tape -nology project today. Take it away, Marcus! Hi, everyone. My name is Marcus Blake. I'm a Miami-based artist. I create artwork on canvas and street art throughout the city of Miami. Today, I'm going to show you how to do my style that I call tape -nology. Let me show you the supplies that we're going to need to get started. First, you'll need a canvas. I usually create with spray paint. And you could also use regular acrylic paint. And that, that you'll need a brush. Okay. Oh, and the most important part, tape. That's why it's called tape -nology. It's all based and made with tape. All right, let's get started. Like I said, first you need a canvas and a roll of tape to get started. The first thing you would wanna do with your canvas is to create a border on the canvas. Along the edges. on all four sides. Once you have that, you are ready to get started. The first thing you'd want to do is to create a triangle on your canvas. You can use any shape you want, but I like triangles, so I'll start with the triangle. Try to make it as symmetric as possible. After you make your triangle, you can then start letting your imagination run wild and create different shapes on the canvas. Okay, when adding the tape, make sure that the tape that you add is repeated on the other side of the canvas. As you see, everything is repeated on each side. And then you will do that over and over and repeat the process while laying down the tape. Let's add some more. With the tape, you would add to your canvas, Put one side down, and then you will repeat that on the other side. Sometimes it doesn't have to be extremely precise, but as long as, as you are comfortable with how the lines look, it's fine. See? 
adding the lines. All symmetrical on each side. Let's continue. <laughs> okay, as you can see, I've added some more lines to the top. One there, one in the middle, one across. All still keeping with the symmetrical pattern. We're almost ready to paint. But let's continue to add some tape so we can finish off the canvas. <laughs> To add tape to your canvas each one should be individual and different and creative just like you okay mine's is ready and here it is very simple not too difficult all tape all symmetrical all the lines are even and we are ready to paint let's do it okay now that our canvas is ready it is time to paint get your paint brushes and the colors that you would like to add to your canvas today i'm going to use two colors pink and blue because those are my favorite miami colors i really like pink and blue so here we go pink paint blue paint pink paint blue paint blue paint pink paint <laughs> our paint ready to go our brushes and then we're going to add the paint to the canvas you can add any pattern or color you want you can paint the whole canvas and let's see we're getting there make sure you press the tape down so the paint doesn't get under the tape. And then you keep adding. You're going to color in all the white sections of the canvas. That's where the paint will dry and create your awesome pattern. Like I said, you can use any color you want. That's what makes it really unique. what mine is looking like so far okay I painted all of my canvas this is what it currently looks like and usually I'm painting in the Sun you know because mine is really hot so the paint dries pretty fast but when I'm not painting in the Sun I like to use a blow dryer makes it dry faster After you have dried your canvas, it should be all dry, or you can let it sit, you know, go play, hang out, get a snack, let it sit, let it dry, and then you can come back to it. But once it's dry, you're ready to take off the tape. So now it's time to take off the tape. It's probably the best part, because then you get to see what your design looks like. So let's see. Let's see what our design is going to look like. Very exciting part. Look at that. And the design starts to come to life. Just a little more. Just a little more. I've got to get that tape off. The tape is very sticky sometimes. Once all your tape has been removed, you know, make sure you put your tape in the garbage because we don't want to litter. And here is my finished canvas. Voila! There. I hope yours looks as great or even better than mine. And I hope you're inspired to become artists and be as creative as possible. Once again, my name is Marcus Blake. I'm a Miami-based artist. And this is my style called Technology. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.
Oh, thank you so much, Marcus. That was amazing. Now, you guys at home can try it, make your own technology project. And if you do, be sure to tag us and post them on social media so that we can check it out and admire your masterpieces. Be sure to also subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can find more videos that we've created from Museum at Home Programming. Have a good one. Happy creating.